Hey guys, I'm Nick, President and CEO here at Dropback TV, and today I'm going to be doing a video that a lot of people have requested. What software can I use to edit my videos? At least that's how it's always phrased. And basically what they want to know though is what editing software is good for me to edit in. Okay, what software do we use here at Dropback TV? What software do the other professionals in the industry use? What is it? Let us know. Well, here you go. This is a video about editing software and what people we use. Specifically, I'm going to be talking about four different kinds of software here. Two that are Mac exclusive, one that's Mac and PC, and one that is only on PC. These are all professional editors. They are going to cost you a little bit of money, but at the end of the day, it is most definitely worth it because guess what? This is what the professional you it's going to explode your video quality way more than Movie Maker will ever be able to do. So let's go ahead and jump on into this. The first program I'm going to recommend and what we actually use here at Dropback TV works on both the Mac and on the PC. And that's one of the reasons we use it. Patrick uses a Mac. I use a PC, so that's one of the reasons. And that is Adobe Premiere Pro. Adobe Premiere Pro is an amazing, amazing editing software. We actually have a CS6 license, so we don't pay monthly for it. But now, you can pay just $20 a month and get Adobe Premiere Pro to use as much as you want and all of that stuff. And I think that's actually Adobe Premiere Pro and Photoshop for $20 a month. That's incredible. And Adobe Premiere Pro is used to edit movies with, commercial all of that stuff and so you using it for your videos on YouTube is going to make the quality better automatically just because you're gonna have more access to better render settings better you know video encoding which is basically rendering as well better you know graphics and FX and effects and all of that stuff is on Adobe Premiere and we absolutely love it here at Dropback TV but there's not the only thing that uh that you could use something else that you could use number two here is Sony Vegas now the thing about Sony Vegas is it is PC only so if you're using a Mac sorry this is going to work for you now the problem with Sony Vegas and the reason that I actually switched from Sony Vegas to Adobe Premiere is I felt like Sony Vegas wasn't staying up to date with the times you know there's no like external exporting you have to export in a Sony Vegas like you can't change that to another program like you can in Premiere you can export in uh, Adobe Media Encoder in Premiere you don't have to edit or export in Adobe Premiere you have to in Sony Vegas additionally Sony Vegas's render settings were kind of behind the very the bit rates and things like that didn't work out as good as they do in Adobe Premiere so that was an issue as well as just the overall interface and editing and things like that I just really kind of lost uh, base with and thought Adobe Premiere looked better so I tried it out and I loved it a ton so Adobe Premiere is probably going to be the best if you have the choice but if you can get Vegas cheap or have a way to get Vegas for you know a little bit of a cheaper price than you can Adobe Premiere maybe jump on the Vegas train and uh, it's going to work just the same for you it's just a little bit more complicated in my opinion and there's more going on with it and yeah it's just not keeping up with the times I feel like it's 2000 probably 10 software where Sony Vegas feels like 2014 up to date software number three here is Mac exclusive and uh, that's iMovie which is now free with a lot of Macs that you buy I think it is free with all Macs you buy now iMovie is amazing amazing software Patrick used iMovie I'm pretty sure back in the day to edit I've used iMovie previously iMovie is a great way to edit videos it's not as advanced as Adobe Premiere Pro or Final Cut what we're back to talk about now but it's still a great video editor a lot a lot a lot of tiers above Windows Movie Maker so if you have a Mac and a PC swing for iMovie on the Mac it's a cheap program that will get you a lot farther than Movie Maker ever will on Windows and uh, iMovie is, is great with FX with stock sounds it's got a lot of stuff like that you can also do you know some effects and, and, and smaller effects and stuff like that I don't think you can chroma key in iMovie which is kind of an issue for us here at Dropback TV that's why if we're going to edit on a Mac when we're in a pinch or we just need to edit on our laptops or something like that we both have Mac laptops both Patrick and myself and when we do have to do that uh, and, and Premiere isn't available we will switch over to Final Cut which is number four here on the last editing software we're going to be talking about today Final Cut is Mac exclusive it's also made by Apple and it is the spruced up better version of iMovie Final Cut is the iMovie's bigger brother that can always 
kick its ass in everything it does. And honestly, I would recommend Final Cut over iMovie any day. It's going to be able to chroma key. It's going to be a bit fan crop. It's going to be able to, you know, do a lot more in-depth effects. It's going to be able to do a lot more stock sales, a lot more better editing. The timeline regimen is better, I think. It is just an overall better editing program. I also like how the projects and things like that work in, uh, in Final Cut. So Final Cut is way better than iMovie. And overall, I would rank these like this if you're going to choose. At the top, Adobe Premiere. That's the best editing program I think out there right now. Adobe Premiere is incredible. Right under that, I'm going to rank Final Cut. Under that, Sony Vegas. And last but not least is iMovie on the Mac. So that is how I would recommend some editing software. Sadly, I don't know of any good free editing software. And that's for the simple reason of free products really don't have the support, really don't have the, the you know, they don't have the money backing them that creates good content and creates good products. So that's the issue with that, and that's why I don't know of any free editing software. However, I will link all of these four editing softwares down below. Go down there, check those out. If there's anything you see that you like, click on it and see how much it is. You know, you might end up thinking it's $300 and it's only $20. So, anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help us out. I'm Nick King, President and CEO here at Drawback TV, and I am out guys. Peace. Thank you.